What's up everybody? A new leak has just appeared on 4chan about the next game from Naughty Dog. Now it's not just someone saying it, there is a picture, but it's 4chan so take it with a grain of salt. As you can see on the picture, it shows all the games that are currently projects in development. Now unfortunately it shows The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. We're going to talk about that in a moment. The Last of Us Factions 2, and then there's the new IP, The Eyes of Polaris. Then there's also The Last of Us Part 3. Now that's what's interesting, is the new IP. It has been rumored that Neil Druckmann is working on a sci-fi game, so that would be really interesting if that is the case. Now, there is some additional info with the leak, let's take a look. So first, let's talk about factions. Currently, there is severe development issues, but it's close to completion. It might come out next year. It plays like The Last of Us Part 2, but it's multiplayer with huge maps and a personal survivor camp mechanic. It's one of the 15 games as a service that Jim Ryan has commissioned, and he says, prepare your wallet, no pun intended. Here's an article from Kotaku. It was said that Naughty Dog cut 25 contract developers and put the development of The Last of Us multiplayer spin-off on ice. So it does make sense that that part of the leak would be true, but this is all public information, so it doesn't verify the credibility of the leaker, not one bit. As far as my opinion on the multiplayer faction game, I think that Naughty Dog should focus on what they do best, which is making a single player experience. I personally think they're wasting their time with it. In the first game, it was just included in there. People were playing the story at the same time, so it worked. But the fact that it will be a standalone game, I don't know how successful that would be. I guess time will tell if it even comes out. Let's move on to the next part of the leak. It is talking about The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. It is coming next year, PC as well, around six months later. Mostly graphical improvements over the original. There is no story DLC and it will be 70 bucks retail. PS4 version upgrade will be 10 bucks. And to that, I only have one thing to say. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. They better not be making a remastered version of The Last of Us Part 2. That would be the game that nobody asked for. The remastered version of The Last of Us Part 1 was such a cash grab, it was so unnecessary, and this one would be even more unnecessary. The game already looks good on PS5 or even on PS4, it looks perfectly fine. Just leave it alone and work on your next project. Talking about the next project, here's the next part of the leak. Naughty Dog's new IP. The game is a third person shooter and plays very similarly to Mass Effect 2 with a choice system, companions and everything. The plot is about the discovery of a solar system that has a giant eye for a star in the galaxy and about human civilization freaking out it might do something horrific to them. Think of Hellstar Remina. It's being announced this year, PS5 only, no word on a PC version. Apparently it's called Eyes of Polaris and I think that would be cool. It would be nice to see Naughty Dog do something a little bit out of their element. They are usually very boots on the ground type of developers where you have Uncharted, Last of Us, just realistic stuff even though the zombies is a little bit unrealistic but you know what I mean. So for them to go in the sci-fi direction would be really interesting. I think they would be able to pull it off. It is a talented studio, although they don't pump out many games. They take their time with it, which is fine. At the end of the day, Sony has so many first party studios that it's okay if these guys only release one game every single generation. The leak also mentions that part three of The Last of Us is in pre-production right now and he doesn't think that it's going to be released until the PS6, and that makes a lot of sense. The Last of Us Part 1 was released at the end of the PS3's life cycle. The Last of Us Part 2 was released at the end of the PS4's life cycle, so that they would push it maybe as a PS6 launch title. That makes total sense. So anyways, that's it for the leak. As usual, it's 4chan taken with a massive grain of salt. You might as well take it with the whole shaker at this point. 
but there's a lot of leaks that happened on 4chan that turned out to be true and I still find it interesting to speculate anyways. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you on the next one.